Hello! <laughs> Today we are going to the forest and yeah, let's go! <laughs> the forest we are stepping into is in quite middle of Finland, Joutsa. To a starters, we are following this not so obvious trail of some sort of forest machine that has been going here quite some time ago. As you can see, the plants are already growing here, but I think we might step off the trail at some point. I took a basket with me because I hope to find some mushrooms. Matilda is accompanying me on this forest trip and we also have the dog Minnie. Matilda has a bucket for berries. Here we have a tiny friend but we don't know what it is so we are not gonna pick just all the mushrooms that we see. Mainly we are searching for cantarellis. Oh no, who is a muddy dog? You are, you are. Wow, I spot something very interesting there. There is a tiny spider living in the mushroom. We have stumbled upon wild herb, Ketun Leiba, roughly translated, it's fox bread. Wow, cute! Suppila vahvera. Look at this! Amazing! I remember when I was a kid, first time picking mushroom with my mother and my father, and we found these. And the whole forest, it was just continuing on and on and on, and until forever we had at least 30 liters, meaning three big buckets buckets like this full of these and we had them in the freezer for many many years wow so there is no mosquitoes anymore but there are these hirvikarpanen which translates roughly to moose Fly. Here we found now one. Ooh, so gross. Ooh, oh. <laughs> and they're very nasty <laughs> small bugs that fly onto you and they try to dig their way into your hair and lay their eggs. So they're a little bit nasty, but we will manage. Oh. <laughs> 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 There they are! These are huge and dark red. They're just perfect. I don't think I have ever seen this big lingonberries. These are so huge and juicy. Super food. green spider. I found a magical spider. It's fast. The bum is smelling green. 
<laughs> so cute. And I even found one blueberry. <laughs> Mini. Wow, such a nice sunshine. I thought the blueberry season is over. We found what we came to look for. It's the cantarelli. Cantarelli. This is a very nice um, food mushroom. Great. I'm so happy we decided to come here. <laughs> it feels so healthy. Mitä mä enhän vetä? Ehkä mä olisin matkia jotain ääniä tässä. You can already see the water shimmering there. Yay! <laughs> Let's go! I have had it from when I was a kid. My father, he used to give birthday presents like this. Either it would be a knife, an axe or a multi-tool. I really like knives. Uh, I don't actually do much with them but you know if i find a nice stick let's see let's say something like this this is so nice just making it into a weapon And my mother, she uh, gave me the necklace. Very well-known jewelry maker, Kalevala. This one is called Hattulan Lintu. Gifts that last through the life. Here we have Nava. It only grows in places where the air is clean. It looks like a beard. This plant is called Suopursu. It mainly grows on the swamp and it has a very pleasant smell to it. It smells so good. I think I saw some movement in the forest. What is that? It's a troll! We have a detector! <laughs> it's not a troll, it's Milko. So cool <laughs> how it's growing in this pattern. I wanted to share about the shoes I'm using. A few questions have come from you. What are they? These are barefoot shoes. I bought them from a very regular store, grocery store in Finland, Prisma. These are actually winter shoes but I also use them now in the summer. It says rock spring on the side so maybe that's the brand. I've been using them so much I don't have any more the pohjallinen, the thin thing that you put inside the shoes. They got really curled up because of you know the foot is inside moving so now just without them still working and you're closer to the surface of the earth 
they're very comfortable and soft. I like it. Very good shoe. Yeah. Now Milko wants me to take a photo of him, so let's go. It is quite windy. It is quite windy. Let's see if we can go anywhere. This is what we found. Lingonberries and blueberries. I would guess three and a half liters. And uh, trot cantarelles, maybe two liters or one and a half. Hard to say. Okay, it's time to do my sadhana, my yogic practices, and then we will start cooking. See you again next time. Thank you for being here. Bye.